So let's face it, space is pretty cool. Airplanes are pretty cool. Drones, although they can be a little bit creepy, they're still pretty cool. And there's no doubt that satellites and rockets and spacecraft in general are super cool. And this is the main reason many people end up studying aeronautical or aerospace engineering. However, the aerospace engineering major generally revolves around the ideas of aerodynamics, structures, and propulsion, and a bunch of mechanical engineering concepts applied to something that's supposed to flow in the air for a really long time, or in the case of a spacecraft, float in space. Now, the problem for me was that I was very interested in spacecraft, but I didn't really care much for propulsion, nor did I care much for aerodynamics or structures. In fact, statics was probably one of my least favorite classes in college because I just found it to be really boring. Like I didn't care enough to calculate the amount of force that's supposed to keep this pen on my hand without moving. And it just didn't excite me. And then I eventually switched to electrical engineering, but I wanted to continue to working on spacecraft. And this is where I realized it was totally possible because you see, spacecraft are systems and systems have multiple components to them. Sure, the main challenge is to get them to space or the air, make sure they stay there and build the structures that are supporting them to stay in those environments. However, these systems also need computers, they need sensors, they need batteries, they need communication systems, and they need a bunch of other areas that aerospace engineers don't really know how to do. For example, you would need an electrical engineer to design the power system and design the communication system. You would need a computer engineer to design the flight computer and make sure it's integrated with the other sensors. And you would need a computer science major or a programmer to make sure that the computer has good enough code written in to ensure success of the mission. And this is where things got really excited because I joined this CubeSat lab at my university where we were building a small satellite and we were trying to launch it into space. And what I was responsible for was the communication system. It was making sure that we build an antenna on the ground, we build an antenna in the satellite, and then they talk to each other reliably and they transfer data to each other. And that was mainly an electrical engineering area of knowledge with the application of aerospace. Like obviously you have to make sure that you know how much the satellite is rotating around the earth and when to expect it to make contact with the satellite on the ground. And when you would expect it to have line of sight with this antenna on the ground and how you transfer information, what kind of modulation schemes you use. So it definitely was kind of an integration of airspace and electrical concepts, but it was mainly an electrical engineering topic. And that was kind of the beginning for a lot of different spacecraft that I got to work on, including multiple CubeSats. And then when I went to the NASA Kennedy Space Center for my first internship, I was building electronics for a rover that would go on and land on the moon. Unfortunately, I think that mission got canceled. So my electronics won't make it to the moon, at least not yet. I'll probably work on something else that will. And even for my PhD, the main topic of my PhD is known satellite communications and high data rates in space. And it's for the aerospace applications, but all the research is done in the domain of electrical engineering. So if you're somebody who's interested in space, but you don't really want to study aerospace, or for example, you live in a country where there's not many airspace opportunities, um, don't be discouraged because pretty much any other engineering discipline you study can be applied to aerospace, depending on what you do. Although I will say electrical engineering and computer science are two very popular ones and much needed on spacecraft. And I actually made a video on why I chose to work on electrical engineering instead of computer science, and it should be somewhere over here. So you should go ahead and check it out.